I designed myself a simple wire rope isolator for mounting 360 cameras onto drones with. So these work by having two plates separated by uh, stainless steel uh, wire rope. Uh, you see these a lot in proper cinematography, mounting big cinema cameras onto cars for chase footage and whatnot. They'll mount the camera onto a gimbal, but then instead of hard mounting the gimbal straight onto the car, they'll put one of these wire rope isolators in between. Um, I've just designed this in uh, SketchUp, printed it in PETG, and used some 2mm stainless steel wire rope. Um, I ran out of 10mm hardware, which is why some of these bolts protrude far too long. I don't actually know how stiff or rigid these are meant to be, but because I designed it with um, six wires, I'm going to try it with all six, and then I'll take out three and see if that makes any discernible difference. So this sort of comparison is obviously flawed in that these are two separate flights and both the wind and my flying was different each time. But I want to say, at least anecdotally, that the softer three-wire version was better than the stiffer six-wire version. And I definitely think that the isolated does help compared to this footage from the left and last weekend where the camera was just hard mounted. Uh, again, different conditions, it could just be placebo, but I want to say it helps. Um, I went through and tried to find some sort of similar movements and motions between the two videos um, to look at uh, the difference between the three and the six wire versions. Uh, again, zooming in to try and find uh, differences between the two. I want to say three wire looks a bit better in terms of these like small micro vibrations, but you know it could just be a bit was less windy. Looking at these um, tiny planet style shots, the movement of the clouds at the edges and the corners where the distortion kind of accentuates movements. Um, you know, again, I think three wires on top. Um, yeah, the weather conditions weren't particularly similar this weekend compared to last weekend, so the camera could have been shooting at a lower shutter speed as well. Um, but then the, the sun did finally come out at the end, and I just flew at the end of a, a pretty much empty pack and tried to um, get some similar sorts of movements. Um, yeah, I think that overall it's, it does work. I think it is better than having the camera hard mounted. I think next what I'll try doing is making um, a new softer one but uh, more stable, so using five thinner wires rather than the three thicker ones after a chat with somebody on Instagram. I think that having five one millimeter wires uh, will be sort of similarly rigid as the uh, three two millimeter wire version from today, but um, a more stable uh, platform overall, so yeah. Uh, I'm still waiting on motors for the flat hex, but I'm going to be really slow for some reason. Um, it should have been about 10 days or so, but it's been you know three to four weeks. Uh, and then the idea is to mount this underneath a flat hex to get some more, to get more unobstructed views of stuff rather than seeing the drone taking up uh, all the space in the frame.